Mom, my pretty girl's nursery is all set up. Her whelping bed is set up. And I rearranged my room, my sewing room. I can still sew while we have babies. And uh, tomorrow I'll get my carpet shampooed and vacuumed and then put a big uh, floor mat like this down so mama can go in and out after babies without making too much of a mess. But this is Candy's first whelping bed, so she is just rearranging everything I've put together, fluffing it and getting it comfortable. She's big. And I can feel the babies moving. I can see them moving. I see milk already. This is Friday, and she's actually due on Tuesday. But it wouldn't surprise me. Between now and Tuesday, we could have babies. I hope it waits till Tuesday. Tuesday will be exactly 62 days from her first uh, mating with... Uh, our boy Joey so I'm just getting all excited again the 15 babies from my last three litters that were born all in the same week have all gone to their new homes and I delivered the last ones Monday this week I met them part of the way and that was it. So I've only been without baby since Monday. And I actually kept one. So I have Reba. And I haven't really. She's only 11 weeks old today. So I haven't been without babies very long. And we're going to have babies within this next week. So I've barely had time to straighten and organize and regroup. But I was had her in my lap earlier and the babies are feeling so active and then when I saw milk I decided I better get in here and get her whelping bed set up so I've been working all evening and I guess I forgot to post my video earlier today because I was just focused on candy and the things I'm trying to get caught up when you have babies things get put off until the babies are gone and uh, only I didn't have a whole lot of time after babies left before I needed to be regrouping again so I've had this week to uh, work on things but <laughs> I had a lot of things I still need to get caught up I should have had this carpet shampooed much sooner but it's all right. It's not really. We have the space. Oh, that was my concern. I had to re, redo all my sewing stuff, reorganize, and 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 I was just hoping that I could actually have it. This room looks much different for one litter than it did when I had three litters. The sewing sewing stuff all got put away, and three of the playpen with whelping beds were set up side by side took up the whole room there was enough room for me to lay on the floor beside them but uh, now i've got my recliner here and i can sit over here and be a little more comfortable if we have to spend all night waiting on things to happen i have a i, I do have the recliner so i can stretch out but I have plenty of room. I can make a pallet too, which I have done before because I want to be close enough to not miss something if I happen to fall asleep while waiting. But I'm just getting excited. And she, I thought I would start bringing her in as soon as I got this all set up to uh, get her comfortable with being in the bed. But that... That didn't take no time at all. She hopped right in. It's like, she's like, hey, I think I know what I can do with this. So she's claiming it. I don't know 
I'll probably keep her in her crate at night because she's right beside my bedroom. And I hear them when they move around or if they were to make any noise, I hear it. So I think I'd rather have her closer to me in the middle of the night in case she decides to get things started while I'm asleep. So, but I think she'd be pretty comfortable right there. I just don't want her to start without me. But we're ready now. I need to set up a table with uh, all of my uh, birthing stuff, my tools or <laughs> my equipment. <laughs> and uh, that's all I need to do. Get the gloves and hemostats and stuff like that out. And scales so we can weigh babies. But we're in the on the puppy watch right now. So and she's definitely she doesn't she doesn't need any time to get used to this. She's already claimed it and uh I think she likes it. I have the kitty pool whelping beds, which I love, and I make um they're the kitty pool swimming pools. And so that's like the small one, I guess. And I make fleece covers that fit them. And I have a heating pad in the bottom of it for to keep babies warm. Although this is the warmest room in the house. And uh, our last litters were born in August. And real quick, we realized we don't need the heating pad. That Everybody was very warm. But I went ahead and, and put it in there just in case. We're rainy today, so you never know. We might get some of that snow from Colorado. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll be ready for it. She's got uh, the heating pad and the cover and then some blankets and, and uh, washable uh, waterproof type pads down in there that are soft on one side and and plastic on the other side so she looks pretty comfortable to me <laughs> and she looks awfully big i just can't imagine how many babies for sure we're gonna have i'm gonna say seven i think it could could be more, could be less, but seven, I think, would be a large litter for a first-time mama, but she looks like she's carrying a large litter. So, uh, I'm going to put my number out there as number seven, but you guys can go ahead and guess and, and let me know what you think, and we'll just have to wait and see. But I will keep everybody updated. I'm going to keep her in here as much as possible when I'm up and awake and just let her have the peace and quiet of this room. This is my sanctuary room, and my mamas love being uh, secluded in here. I stay in here with them most of the time, but uh, they are quite comfortable to come in here and be away from the rest of the pack and the rest of the noise that goes on in the house when they're when they've got babies or when they're getting ready to have babies. I think they enjoy the peace and quiet and just the serenity of, our, of this room. So I guess this is just my uh, she shed. <laughs> and it's for all the she's in the house, me and my girls. So anyway, I just wanted everybody to see Sandy is getting close. She's getting so close that I'm getting excited. So, and y'all just keep praying that we have an easy delivery and uh, no complications would be nice. I do have an emergency vet if I have to get her to in for a C-section, but uh, Candy's a pretty stocky girl, so I'm not too concerned. Her Joey is a pretty small stud. I'm not concerned about that. But she is a first-time mama, so we're always concerned about that. We just don't know what to expect until, until she does it. So, anyway, y'all have a blessed night. We'll, I'll be back with more updates 
over the next few days and until we have our babies and then I'll I'll just post a video every day y'all know that so but I'll make sure to spotlight Miss Candy for everybody so thanks for everybody that's on baby watch with me I really appreciate the the messages and comments and encouragement on that it's always nice to know people are praying in the background for what's going on here so, anyway, y'all have a blessed evening.